Welcome to another episode of Ugly Jeeps. i um, doing a short video here to update on the 1946 CJ2A. Um, Steve's been slaving away while I'm at work getting stuff torn apart. Um, today we pulled the trigger on a MD1 reproduction CJ2A frame for this beauty. Um, we won't have it here till next month, so we're going to get the rest of this torn down and start cleaning stuff up. As you can see, this is one of the primary factors. This has just got so much rust, so there's really not a lot of, um, not a lot left to save. So, um, Steve got the motor and tranny transfer case out today. Um, Lots of new looking parts. We don't think that this thing was ever ran very much when they um, when they initially put it together. Everything looks kind of new, um, other than just setting forever. So we're thinking that they put it together and had some sort of uh, issue with the adjustable push rods on the engine. And uh, it probably just set. I was talking to the owner of this, um, and he does it. He hasn't seen it run since 1990, so at least 30 years, um, 31 years, I guess, uh, of just sitting there, not doing anything. So, luckily. We got it turning over. It's got a stuck valve. I don't know if you've watched um, the sh video I made last week, but the exhaust valve back here on the back cylinder on the driver's side is stuck about halfway, which we're going to pull the motor apart anyway and do gaskets and bearings and rings and stuff. So that won't be, it's not a problem. We'll just get it fixed. Um, now that the motor's out, you can kind of see what they did. It looks like factory CJ5 V6 mounts. And they kind of just welded them on the top. And then they let the bottom just kind of hang out in space. <laughs> you can really see it on that side. Had a huge frame gap. So um, we'll probably be building new ones or getting a kit or something. Um, if I do end up cutting these off and reusing them, I'm going to make them uh, fit better, to say the least. Um, another interesting thing, we noticed they'd spaced the clutch pivot out. Well, what they had actually done, if you can see it, is they drilled a new hole and they moved the whole cross member over an inch. So the Transmission and motor would line up with the new mounts, which is not the best way to do stuff, but pretty ingenious um, to say the least. So anyway, that's my that's my short update video. I'm not going to get any time in the shop probably tomorrow or the next day. I might get over here Saturday. I don't know, but um, for now we'll just be still tearing stuff down, cleaning stuff up. Um, Maybe they get the axles out of the frame, get everything off we, off of the frame we need, and then just uh, huck it to the scrapyard with the rest of the garbage parts. And uh, start, once the frame gets here, start building her back up. But anyway, that's uh, about all I got to say for now. So, have a good evening.